The world is full of good things. The best is freedom. Ancient wisdom from the Prozetta that still applies today. Good morning, neighbor. Today, I'd like to discuss freedom. Ironically, there's another quote from the Prozetta I'd like to use. By fine understanding alone can the mind be increased, or the lack of it made good. This alone can tell us a lot about the Norse ancestors, a framework we can still use today. By engaging in deep reflection, developing our critical thinking skills, and by analyzing complex subjects, the ancestors could expand their understanding, broaden their horizons. Not only did this benefit them tactically, but also in trade and many other aspects of life. Diplomacy, for example. The benefits of understanding a diverse perspective. My point being is you don't have to like it to understand it or appreciate it, but a lack of perspective is a lack of wisdom. Now then, personally, I disagree with the mass unaliving of an entire people. And here in the U.S., we have the First Amendment. And let me remind you that the freedom of speech is tied together with the freedom to practice religion. An attack on one is attack on the other. So whether it's the freedom of reach or volume of your voice from a social media app, a protest on college campuses, or an unknowingly cultivated news feed that keeps you in a lack of perspective not allowing you to critically think, therefore limiting your wisdom, the result is still the same. An attack is an attack. The world is full of good things, but the best is freedom. I don't think we have that. I would like to close with something from Arabaja's saga. What happens to others will most likely happen to you. If they're limiting your perspective, your voice, and the reach of it, your ability to protest or use your voice, then the world is not a good place, and we don't truly have freedom. We just have a lack of perspective, and therefore we can't critically think. What's happened to most others has happened to you, hasn't it, neighbor? I call it the great omission, an omission to the First Amendment. So if you enjoy your voice, or your ability to practice whatever religion you choose, it's under attack, and it's all tied to a mass unaliving on another continent. Whether you like it or not, you need to put on your critical thinking hat, take some deep breaths, and ask yourself why. You have freedom, don't you, neighbor? Don't you? I propose a compromise. Allow people to have their freedom to use their voice. While we all still do. While we still have the beliefs that reinforce those voices, that allow us the freedom of perception, so we can enjoy our freedom of perception and to critically think, truly see what happens to others will most likely happen to us too. So enjoy your freedom of limited perception, neighbors. Enjoy your lack of wisdom. Enjoy the control. I know, freedom is best to perception, neighbors, and philosophy. Soon we may not have that either. Until next time. Acha-cha-cha. <laughs>